Okay, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining our first ever Chrome community webinar. We're really happy to have you here. Um, for the first event, I'm excited to introduce Lauren Groves, the PM of a new feature, Chrome Experiments, that's available in beta. He'll be going over this feature with you on the call. And um, as we go along, if you have comments or questions, please feel free to add those in the YouTube live chat. It's probably on the right-hand side of your screen. Drop your questions in there and we'll be addressing some of those at the end. Hi, thanks Rebecca. I'm Lauren Groves. Uh, as uh, she mentioned, I've been on, uh, I've joined the Chrome team as a product manager. I've, I've been on the team for a little bit over a year and a half and um, I'd like to talk to you about one of my favorite products, Chrome Experiments. Uh, we recently launched this product to all the non-stable versions of Chrome, so you may have already seen it. Um, if you've been to Chrome colon slash slash flags, you know one of my favorite sites. Uh, I like to go here and see what all the teams are working on inside Chrome. It's a really good uh, way to kind of browse through and enable or disable cool features you may want to try. It is a little bit hard to find though. It's hard to remember to go back to this place. There's no entry point in the top of Chrome that kind of drives you there. Uh, there are a lot of things listed here. There are probably, I don't know, hundreds of things listed here that are you know, across different platforms. Your phone has some, you know, your, your desktop has others. Um, and the titles can be a little bit confusing. The descriptions help, but they can also be a little bit too uh, engineering speak sometimes for me to be able to understand them. So we sat down and had a brainstorm. And we started to think, well, what if we took a few of these features and we a few of these experiments were running and we featured them as flags much more upfront in, in the, the front of Chrome, making them easy to discover. And then what if we took the titles and descriptions and we made them easy to understand so that you could quickly browse through and, and pick ones that you wanted to turn off or turn on uh, and you, there wouldn't be any confusion about what the feature was trying to do. Um, then we thought, wouldn't it be cool if users could actually send us feedback about those specific features so that the teams, while they're working on them, could get input from people that are actually testing in the community in, in real time. Introducing Chrome Experiments. And now you may have already seen this. It's the little beaker icon in the top of your Chrome Beta, Chrome Dev, and Chrome Canary channels. When you click that little beaker, it opens up a dialog, and the dialog lists out all of the current experiments that we have available within that build of Chrome. You'll see that there are, there are kind of three sections of information here. We have the, we call them the clean title and description. So it's a, a much more simplified, easy to understand title and description than what you would find on, on col, Chrome colon colon slash slash flags. Then we have the same options per experiment for you to be able to enable, disable, or set the experiment as default on that experiment. And we have the send feedback button, which I'll get to in a second. For the enable, disable, and default options, uh, the enable and disable are, are fairly obvious. The one turns the experiment off, which then requires a reset of your browser. Uh, the other turns it on, which requires a reset of your, your browser as well. Um, but default is what uh, our teams use internally to add you to groups where we may want you to be able to see this experiment but not know it's on, to see if you naturally would interact with it versus a hold back or versus a different group that we have. So we, we kept those options in flags and in this new Chrome Experiments UI mirrored so that they'll be reflected on both properties. Now, the send feedback button is, uh, oh, sorry, one, one second. These features are only enabled on non-stable versions of Chrome. So if you're using regular Chrome, then you won't see that little beaker in the top. But once you install beta or the Devon Canary channels, you'll see that beaker and it'll have the, the features available that you can try in that current build. Now, my favorite feature, which I almost jumped to a little bit early, is this ability for you to send feedback directly to the teams that are building your feature, building the feature for you. So let's imagine that you're trying out our new reading list feature and you went into the labs icon 
and you clicked enable and reset your browser and you tried it out for a few days and there were some things you really liked but there was one thing you really didn't like but it was hard to explain in this with the send feedback button you can capture your thoughts by writing them out by adding urls or or literally by creating a video or pictures to narrate what you expected to happen versus what actually happened and then our teams internally check these on a regular basis to verify if what we're building is going in the right directions we get a lot of ideas from you the community as well as from other test groups that we work with to help prioritize what we want to build next and how we want to approach it as a little bonus we made sure that we would support light and dark mode in labs and uh, this, this is kind of a little frosting on top just to make sure that if, if uh, you like your browser dark like I do then it would stay dark and I hand it over to Rebecca to talk a little bit more about the uh, Chrome product expert community. Thanks so much, Lauren. Um, yeah, if you liked what you heard and you want to get even more involved in beta testing and in the Chrome community, you can sign up to be a Chrome product expert. There is a link in the description. So please sign up if that's something that interests you. Um, and I think we'll start with a few questions. Um, okay. So Lauren, uh, how do you select which upcoming Chrome features will be featured as a Chrome experiment? It's a good question. Um, we're still figuring out an exact criteria for this, but right now we're handling on a case per case basis. Teams internally are asked to review their features before they launch and, fig and, and decide if they would benefit from extra experimentation by the exposure of featuring their flag on a beta channel or non-stable channel of Chrome. Um, teams then come to us and we talk through what that would mean, what they're trying to experiment with, and if we agree that this is worth featuring, then we, we go through. We make the uh, a couple provisions to feature that flag. But we're, what we're specifically looking for are are there user-facing challenges that they want to explore? Are they trying to you know, create a new entry point for something or move an existing behavior and they wanted to see how users would react to it? Are there specific testable events that they have where there's uh, uh, something new in the user's behavior or something that could impact users at scale that they want to collect feedback on before they launch to you know, billions of Chrome users and, and do it while we have our, our core trusted testers you know, within the beta groups? Um, there could also be elements of things that they want to test ongoing, like you may notice the tab scrolling uh, uh, experiment is up there, and it's been up there for a few months. Tab scrolling is a really hard mechanism for us to get to the, the high level of polish that we want to get it to, and so we keep tweaking it and keep changing it and listening to your feedback to make sure that when we get this feature out, it's going to be the best tab scrolling feature you've ever seen because we've we've worked on it and polished it and, and taken your feedback and incorporated it back into our pipelines. Great. Yeah. Sounds, sounds great. So we're encouraging you to submit feedback. That's the bottom line. Um, and with that, what, what kind of feedback are you most interested in hearing about in this experiment feature? So if, if I could have a magic wand, uh, I, I would love to get feedback of, what you were trying to do, like what you expected to happen, and then what your ideal solution would be. It's like, bring me your problem. Be like, hey, I tried this feature. It, I tried to do this thing with it. It didn't do that thing. I expected it to do it in the following ways. And when, when you communicate like that, it's so easy for us to understand where you're coming from, what you were trying to accomplish, or where we dropped the ball, or where you know, our, our, our product you know, didn't help you. And then we can figure out if that's something we can solve for, how we want to solve for it, if this is something a lot of people are coming to us with, or maybe you were the first person and we can really clearly articulate what you're trying to get across. But anything where you're like, hmm, didn't feel right, or hmm, I tried to bake it into my habits and it's just not becoming a habit, um, that, that kind of feedback works really well as well. Like it, it could be softer, it doesn't always need to be, um, you know, my magic wand feedback of like what you expected versus what actually happened. All right. 
Um, next question, are updates to experiments bundled with Chrome updates or will experiments be updated separately? Experiments are updated with Chrome updates. Uh, the way that our launch process works, it's all bundled around those, those builds. So as you see that update icon appearing, you know, Canary beta dev versions of Chrome, uh, click it because it'll update. You'll get new versions of these, uh, of these features as those builds come through and um, uh, your testing will be much more relevant. Great, good to know. Um, should I expect experiments to be buggy or broken? So in, in a perfect world, our experiments would be, uh, uh, you know, polished and working great. But in the, the nature of these experiments is that they're not quite ready to launch to all users. But we got them to a point where we were able to launch and we can get some immediate feedback. But it might be unstable. It might be a little bit broken. It might be missing things that are really obvious, like there might be a button that doesn't actually work or a button that does something else that you know opens a new tab or takes you somewhere else that's a little bit more of a rough experience. Uh, so I, I would actually lean towards the latter. Like these things should work, but they're probably going to have some rough edges, be a little bit buggy. They might crash your browser. You know, you might have to do some troubleshooting to get these things working uh, at, at their peak. Yes, and that's, yes, that's also can be the nature of beta. Um, Okay, so I, another question that came in, how can I submit general feedback for a feature that I would like to see added as a future experiment? I'm sorry, would you repeat the question? How can I submit general feedback for a feature I would like to see added as a future experiment? Good question. Um... Maybe there's a, uh, you, you could use one of our submit feedback buttons tied to a feature, uh, you know, something it was close to, and, and we'll read through that and translate it into what you're trying to go for. Um, there's also a submit feedback form within Chrome itself that uh, allows you to submit feedback that goes through our, our, our uh, main funnel. That uh, would be a great way to be like, hey, I have a feature request. I want to submit this. Uh, there may also be ways to do it in the community that we're asking you to join. Uh, is that right, Rebecca? I think the, the best way, if you are in the PE program, you can definitely request features, and we do try and share that information with product. Um, and yeah, I, I would also agree, best place to do that is through the submit feedback area in Chrome browser. Um, and you can even indicate there that you'd like to see this as a Chrome experiment. Okay, um, just a few more. Um, how should I expect to see new experiments show up in Chrome beta? Awesome question. So we're, this is some of the stuff we're building. Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for sharing this, but we're um, new cool features that we're adding to Chrome experiments. Um, one of them is that when you update and we have a new experiment to show you, we're going to mark the labs icon somehow that expresses that. It might be a little dot or a new badge or something that says, hey, there's something here. But when you click that beaker, it'll open up the dialog and on the experiment that is new, we'll also have it badged as new. So you'll get a, a little refresh. Uh, whenever you refresh, you'll get a little marker when there's something new for you to check out and be sure to click that labs icon and we'll mark inside what is new. Okay. I did not know that. Good to know. Uh, how often, oh sorry, next question will be, will experiments be different on our different channels, our different beta channels, Canary, Dev, and Beta? Will they be different on different operating systems? Ooh, okay. Um, experiments, the Chrome Experiments UI shows experiments that are launched on that channel. Beta is our highest launch channel before we go to the stable version of Chrome, before it like launches to the, the full Chrome user base. Dev is the channel below that. Canary is the channel below that. If you want to see all of the experiments, like as they first get out, 
Canary is the channel that's going to have more experiments that you, you have access to. If you um, want to see all the experiments as they are closer to launching to stable, then using the beta channel will give you more of that, the uh, ideas of, of what experiments are there. So there may be more experiments on Canary than on beta. Now, on for different operating systems also have different experiments available. So, um, like right now, you won't you won't see this, but we may have some experiments run on PC or run on uh, Mac or run on Chrome OS that are not available on the other operating systems. But we don't have any examples of those uh, launched right now. Okay, we're gonna go for last question. Um, if there's an experiment I really like. How can I let the team know that I would like to see it launched to a stable version of Chrome? Send us feedback. I know this is the bell I keep ringing, but tell us why. If there's something you really like, if there's a part of it that fit into your life where now you can do something and it's easier or better or you get more joy out of it than you did before, tell us about it. We will share that information across our teams. We'll talk about it. We'll bring it up often. Um, we, we just need you to share Write, write us a message, tell us what you think, tell us why, and we'll, we'll collect that and make sure that that gets circulated internally. Awesome. Okay. Well, I don't see any more questions coming in, but it was great to hear all these updates about Chrome experiments. Looking forward to more to come. And um, hopefully we'll also be doing some more of these webinars for our community. And with that, since there's no other questions coming in, I am going to sign off. So thank you, everyone. Thank you.